Brian Williams. And I'm lying, Brian Williams. And we're the same fucking guy. A lot of people think I'm from New York, but that has to do with a phase of my life where I was a police officer in New York City. My wife moved away because she had a great job opportunity in California, and frankly, I didn't think she was going to stay there long. She'd fail, and then she'd come back to me. Egg on my face, am I right? Once I landed in Los Angeles, I ultimately met up with my wife at Nakatomi Plaza. I thought it was going to be a reunion of sorts, but a gentleman by the name of Hans Gruber had other things in mind. He launched a terrorist plot to take over the entire building in order to steal a bunch of bearer bonds. He didn't know that the bri, -bri was going to be in the house. Basically what I did was single-handedly take out every last terrorist, save the day, swing over the top of the building while it exploded, barefoot, glass in my feet, but does Bri give a shit? No, he doesn't. He's Brian Williams. I'm sorry for the language, but sometimes I gotta go full Williams on that ass. You know what I'm talking about? Dude, you just described a Bruce Willis movie. I absolutely did not. That movie is actually based on the life and times of Brian Williams, the third book that I wrote. Let me tell you what happened next. I'm sitting there minding my own business on my deep sea mining vessel when the president calls and says, look, there's an asteroid coming towards Earth. We only have a few days to live. We've put together a crack team of astronauts, but we need the best drillers on the planet. We end up getting on a spacecraft and launching ourselves towards an asteroid. We get on the asteroid, we drill, but there are complications. We can't remotely detonate this bomb to blow up the asteroid and save the Earth. So what I do, what does Bri do, what does the Bri Bri do? I trick Ben Affleck and the rest to get on the spaceship, and then I blow it up myself, sacrificing myself to save the Earth, hero of the world. Once again, Brian Williams, me. Brian Williams, me. Brian Williams. Okay, you, you just described Armageddon. It would have been Armageddon, but I saved the day. Maybe you didn't hear the whole story. But how is it that you died and you're still here? Interesting story right there. So there I am, I sacrifice myself. And what happens, what happens? I wake up oddly on an island, right? I'm on an island, there are bodies everywhere. I don't know anyone here, but I have these claws and this Edmantium exoskeleton. And I'm like, what is this? What is this? Is Brian Williams completely undefeatable? Am I immortal? Yes, yes I am. People started calling me the Wolverine. Uh, I don't consider myself a Wolverine just because I have a healing factor and, uh, you know, claws and an Edmantium skeleton. But, you know, the name does suit me because I'm Brian Williams. Okay, now you've just described yourself as a comic book hero. The comic book is loosely based on the life and times of Brian Williams. All right, so you're the Wolverine. Correct. W where do you go from here? Bored with a life of action, I decide to start exercising my mind and become one of the most notable hackers in history. My hacker name is Neo. Then I meet a girl with a white rabbit tattoo and follow her to a beautiful black gentleman named Morpheus. Morpheus gives me the option of the red or the blue pill. Naturally, being Bri Bri Williams, I follow him down the rabbit hole and enter the Matrix. I fight Agent Smith. Previously, no one had been able to touch this man. I, however, basically am the Matrix. That's what I bring to the table. Brian Williams, the one I know Kung Fu. Did you just say you're the one? I did. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you that I'm your messiah, but I did die for your sins. You just compared yourself to Jesus Christ. Of course I wouldn't do that. All I'm saying is that, have you ever seen Brian Williams and Jesus in the same room? Sweet mother of God. No, you haven't. Brian Williams, my pants are on fire. I'm lucky I'm not made out of wood. A real boy, thanks to Geppetto. Brian Williams would never lie. He would only misremember in order to serve his own benefit. Little known fact, I was the fifth Beatle. I taught Jesse Owens how to run. 
I smoke methamphetamines. Brian Williams, I gambled away my children's college money. I stopped the Persians at Thermopylae. I was the second gunman on the grassy knoll. I crashed into Area 51. I beat Deep Blue at chess. I shot Osama Bin Laden. I stopped Ebola with my bare hands. Brian Williams, I have irritable bowel syndrome. You may be asking yourself, what's up with Brian Williams and his Elvis-style hair? Well, let me answer that question. Sometimes when Brian Williams goes to Party City to make fun of Brian Williams in a skit, he can't find generic wasp guy wigs. So instead, he has to make do.